Health, Beauty, Life, the show, was created to recognize and explore trends in celebrity, food, beauty and fashion, health and fitness, travel and lifestyle. Hosted by Patrick Dockery. Everybody. Today we're here with Sherry Moore with the Portraits of the Fallen Memorial, uh, which is a project of the Pasadena Arts Council Emerge program. Oh wow, so how did you get it all started? How did the whole genesis of the concept start? Well, it actually started back in 2004 when I met artist Eva Andre, who had 300 of these small portraits that she had painted as a response to the war after, right after the war started. And she needed a place to display them. So I was able to provide that space for her at the National Cemetery at the Bob Hope Chapel. Okay, and then how are the artists actually connected to the portrait that they're gonna do? Well, that's a very interesting process that I've developed as I've gone forward. What I try to do is try to find that singularity that connects the soldier and the artist. I start with place, for instance, where the artist grew up, Okay. Uh, went to high school and uh, I spend a lot of time it's about five hours per artist per soldier that I right. spend navigating curating to make the match Wow well that's interesting now I, you have a pretty interesting story we were talking a little earlier about how you even got involved in art would you like to share that with the audience well I'm a, <clears throat> I'm fortunate enough to have uh, benefited from a program that the VA has called chapter 31 vocational rehabilitation and it's a program for veterans that have been disabled and uh, they paid for my master's degree. And I was able to go to uh, the University of Southern California and get a master's degree in public art. And essentially, this project is designed as a public art piece okay. because we would like it to go forward as a permanent memorial. Right. And um, the good news is that uh, the director of the program and also the chair of my thesis committee is here and right. has done We're a We're gonna portrait. get to meet her, yes. yes. I'm excited. That's a wonderful connection. Yeah, yes. And then from there, you've actually taken what you've learned in that it, with those resources and you've applied it to this endeavor. That's right. And you said it's a little different. How do you usually set up the format? You said you don't actually always take the actual portraits, but you do pictures with them and you, you scan them and whatnot. What I'll do is I'll scan a high res scan of all the pieces and I prepare them for a, a projection that has sound and voiceover okay. so that we can show the work in a different medium. And um, it's really very powerful and it goes together with the exhibition. Right. So, so there's an antechamber effect, you, there's seating. So people can sit and really visit with the portraits in a very large scale. So what are your plans for launching the event? Well, actually we're going to do a, what's called a soft launch and okay. a preview of the work for this Veterans Day weekend. And we're very excited to be able to present a few of the pieces for the family members okay. that will be in attendance, and then the multimedia projection of all the work. Ooh, sounds all exciting. The pieces Good. And then what's the ultimate goal? I know you're starting here in California locally. What's the ultimate goal for this project? The long range plan is to use our emissaries here uh, to travel once we have all of the California fallen and move across the country and paint all of our fallen soldiers, one artist, one soldier. Wow, that's a great ambition. You're doing great work. We really appreciate it. And then now we're going to get an opportunity to meet one of your mentors, Carol, and she's here. So Carol, why don't you come on over? How are you? I'm well, thanks. How are you? Pleasure nice to, to meet you too. And then I'd like you to nice talk, sure. talk about um, you know, how you met Sherry a little bit and the situation and then tell us about your portrait. I'd love to tell you about how I met Sherry. Okay. Sherry is um, a really star graduate student of mine at the USC Public Art Studies program. And while she was in the program, she interned at the Veterans Administration. And um, that was our first opportunity to kind of work together with this kind of material at the VA in their historic um, 
collection. Wow. And since then, Sherry's moved into a very active curatorial role here in the Southern California area. Wow, and you're loving it, right, Carol? Yeah, I'm loving it. Carol, you're obviously pretty excited about the project because you've even contributed. Yes, indeed. Well, when Sherry invited uh, me to paint a portrait, it was after we had reconnected um, with my studio work, which has a body of work that's related to war okay. and the sentiment and an artist's response to war. And I think that that encouraged Sherry to invite me to do a portrait, which I'm thrilled to do. And um, Carla, my soldier, um, she was from Glendale, okay. which is very close to where my studio is and where, I, where I'm ah, living in Los Angeles. That's the connection. And so um, Carla is uh, my portrait. Tell us a little bit more about it. Thanks, Sherry. In my oil painting process, I often use gold leaf within the oil painting. And in this case, it has a special significance because the gold leaf lends a very precious quality to this object. And as a precious gift that Carla Stewart gave us with her life as a fallen soldier, I think it communicates well the contribution that Carla Stewart made as a soldier and as a fallen, um, I think is communicated not only by her portrait and her smiling, lovely face, but also by its preciousness and the precious and the valuable contribution she made. And I guess now we have the opportunity to see one of your friends and associates, Jill. So Sherry, would you like to bring uh, Jill in? Hi, Jill. Hi. Hi. Good nice to meet you. to meet you. Pleasure. So we're going to talk about what you've done okay. in Portraits of the Fallen. Okay. Great. All right. Good. Good. Let's go okay. All right. Here's my guy, Lieutenant Commander Keith Taylor. And um, he was a supply officer, and he was a career military man. And he was local in that he lived in Orange County, and I'm from Los Angeles. I've lived in Los Angeles my whole life. I went to school out of town, but came back to L.A. So kind of a um, closeness on that level, just geographically. And also my daughter-in-law and my son are both in the military and my daughter-in-law is also a supply officer. Well, this is a version number three or four or five, I'm not quite sure, but we did very many, I, I, I went through a very long process to get it right and I started off in many different styles and different media and to try and land on this particular one uh, in oil paint with a bit of gold paint in the back and it's, it's very, it's a very formal portrait, it's a very um, traditional type of painting. Even though I personally never was in the military and of an age when this was really a different kind of um, world in terms of the military, you can't not honor these guys who yeah. step up. We owe a lot to them. We owe a lot to them and uh, it has nothing to do with politics. These guys yeah. go out there and they, and they do the gig. And they it's, put their lives on the line, literally. Yeah, yeah. Literally. So it touched me in a lot of ways that really surprised me. Wow, so it was a, it was a cathartic project for you almost. Yes, in ways I never suspected. Wow. And it made me paint in a way I was not used to painting in either. It kind of made me go back to a different form of, of work. Well, Sherry, we have one more artist. Yes. And he's a special guy, isn't he? He really one is. One of your favorites. Well, he is one of the original seven when we launched this over a year ago. And there he is, Mr. Slade Smiley. How you doing? Good. How are you, Patrick? Good to see you. Hi, Slade. And so how did you get involved in this project? It's uh, all Sherry's fault. OK. Um, I think, if I remember correctly, um, I, was, uh, I donated some artwork to the Desert Age Project in uh, Palm Springs. And I had a piece that was on display at uh, Peter Constantine's Gallery, That's right? That's right. Yeah. Yes. And so I received a, a phone call from Sherry explaining uh, Portraits of the Fallen and, and what the goal of the project was. Um, and at the time she had sent me um, a couple different fallen soldiers okay. and, and obviously a very emotional oh. request from someone um, and I too like a lot of the other artists found um, painting something of this scale to be very challenging because mm -hmm. if you've seen my other works oh, it's big. Yeah. I, I start at 60 by 40 right. you know so this is very very hard for me to, to paint such a small tile and then as you start thinking about you know, special service. You know, he's a specialist, Tim Watkins, and and really what he sacrificed oh, for us yeah. to this simple request to paint a tile seems like nothing compared to what he, he has gone through, his family has gone through, mm -hmm. and it, it became even more emotional because we invited the family right. to meet mm -hmm. us at the gallery in Palm Springs, and I had an opportunity to meet them and his brothers and sisters, and 
you know, it just becomes an incredible right. project that she's that Sherry's doing. So, wow, it's great work, Slate. Well, I, you know, I'm, I don't consider myself someone who even deserves to be in the caliber of some of the artists that she's she's managed to uh, acquire to help her with this project. And I, I look at my painting now after so many months it's been. Oh, it's almost a year and a almost half. Almost a year and a half, mm -hmm. and I, you know, I'm going. I didn't give enough time. It's like you want to go back and do it again. It's like they sacrifice so much for us. Mm -hmm. And it just, no matter how much time you spend, to me, it's just not enough. And you, you can know? have that opportunity, definitely. Oh, well, I appreciate that. There yeah. you go. Yeah. Well, thank you both so much for letting us into this world and, and sharing with our audience this, this great project that you're on. I mean, and I wish you the best of luck and can't wait till it goes nationwide. Yeah, and let's bring back all the other ladies and uh, say thank you to them as well. Jill and Carol and Slade and Sherry, we're all here. Ladies, thank you so much for having us, and we couldn't do it without them, the artists all contributing to this process and doing the beautiful work you're doing. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you all. Thank you Sharon. so much. And thank you thank for you. being here. Appreciate it. And thank you for being here with us. And until next time, just remember to... Enjoy! enjoy.